Uh, Paul, uh, tell everybody where they can find you. Obviously, your website, uh, uh, your YouTube channel. Where can people see what you have to say? You can find my website at avoiceformen.com, and you can find my you, YouTube channel is called An Ear for Men. And uh, there's, oh, uh, 200 some odd videos expanding on everything that Tom and I have been talking about, uh, going over borderline personality disorders, the pitfalls of marriage, you name it. Um, we're, we've just about covered it all there. Uh, but you're always welcome to come in and, and listen. And guys, you know, you got to figure out that you are worth more than you've ever been allowed to believe. People lie to you about your worth. They tell you that your worth is based in what you do for other people, what you sacrifice. That's all garbage. Your worth is intrinsic, and if you don't wake up to that, you're going to end up losing everything. Well, you have to remember, the people who tell you you're worthless, and it starts with people's parents. Yep. Um, and, and, and many parents tell their kids, yeah, you're, you're a piece of shit, you're nothing, you'll never amount to anything. Usually when people tell you you're worth nothing, it's because they want to take all of your value and use it for themselves. And that, of course, especially includes girlfriends and wives. Uh, you're worthless, you're a piece of shit. Because I, I, when I was married, back when I was stupid, I challenged a woman on camera when they were making a documentary about me 20 years ago. She gave a laundry list of her grievances with me and I said, well, stop me before I kill again. If you have any problems with me, there's the door. You, you better get out of here. Why are you tolerating this abuse? Why are you staying? Did she leave? No. <laughs> no, of course not. So um, if guys need to realize, and uh, I try to remind them all the time of their own self-worth, because the parents, their families, they're not going to do it. The friends right. are not going to do it. And the women you marry who you think are, you know, uh, behind every great man, there's a great woman. These are the, especially the suspects, who are going to tell you you have no worth. And they're going to try to take everything you actually are worth for themselves. That's your role, guys. What you do with that information is up to you. Exactly right. Paul Elam, a voiceformen.com. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. You get my point. Just give these kids some reality, some dosage of truth. And, and that will, guess it won't solve the problems, but it will give them hope in another regard. And so, um, yeah, it, it, that's, that's what's happening, I think. And that's what leads to people murdering and wheeling or just attacking or becoming antisocial and misanthropic like, like your buddy there. And there, there's a way to stop it. But like I said, frankly, the public schools, feminism, academia, media, and parents, they just don't care. They, they, they're really selfish, greedy, clueless, indifferent assholes who only care about themselves and they really don't care about their children. So that's why they let the girls become sluts and harlots and uh, oh yeah, rah, rah, feminism. That's why they let their boys suffer and wander, become, you know, riddle and a dick. Oh yeah, you got the, the Asperger's. Yep, yep, you do. Oh, you're just condemned to hell. Here's some drugs, take them. Uh, yeah, that's that's the the reality we face today. But you know, we here on the internet, we're we're making those changes. Who's was the inspiration for that for that video? And I've seen her trying to do that. She's trying to prove by being uh, she's kind of a public figure, and by doing good deeds, and by proving and showing, and you know, the stuff all over Facebook, and it's quite not neurotic, but it's bordering on neurotic. I'm showing you that I'm a different person now, and I'm I don't want to be treated like that anymore doesn't make any fucking difference, okay? Let's imagine for a second that I'm not rational. I don't care about psychology. I don't give a fuck about philosophy. Fuck that shit. I need you to be a piece of shit. I need you to be the piece of shit that I'm telling you you are because it makes me feel better. I don't give a fuck about what's right and wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and pontificate about morality. I have never once lain awake at night going, is this the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do? That's the person I'm being, okay? Doesn't matter what you do. If I need you to be a piece of shit, I'll turn every good deed into shit. So you can go to Africa and uh, work for free for a charity and spend all your savings in, in the service of others. And I'll say, you fucking narcissist, look at you. Who do you fucking think you are? You know, uh, uh, running away to a foreign country and pretending to do good things 
Um, even if you stayed in the country of your origin and you did good charitable deeds all the time, I could turn anything, I can turn gold into shit because the human mind can do that. And I'm deeply invested in doing that because I need you to be a prick because you not being a piece of shit, because you not being a prick is uh, gonna impact on my self-esteem. So I'm deeply invested in keeping you down there in the mud.